At the LOI stage, probably the craziest thing that we saw was actually fraud being advertised in a SIM, where the way the business was operating was actually fraudulent. And once we looked at it, it was actually disclosed in the SIM on how they were operating. So it was a little weird. Once you read that, you're like, wait a minute, they can't actually be putting that in their marketing documents. And then you go talk to the attorneys and that is actually not legal. They can't do what they're doing. And then you start to backtrack. So that was pretty surprising. But when you do with private sellers, you've seen everything. Everything's on the balance sheet from cars to art to homes. I've seen entire families being employed that have never set foot in the business. I've seen locations that are either owned by a family member and they're paying no rent or they're paying five times market rent. You see all types of crazy performance adjustments when you get into smaller mid-market companies that are family owned.